TV audiences have spent years and years watching storylines play out that fans probably aren't as forgiving if they might have been a motion picture, thus making TV show endings extremely tough to perfect. In these cases, the following 10 TV shows, though some of which are deemed unsatisfying, the alternative endings proposed would have probably made a much better ending. I'm Cal from What Culture, and here is 10 TV shows that almost had much better endings. Number 10. The Happy Ending – How I Met Your Mother in the actual ending, after 208 episodes, How I Met Your Mother finally gave fans the moment that they'd longed for, the identity of the mother in the show's title, a woman named Tracy. Who? Then later on, the show dropped a bombshell in its super diverse ending. Tracy had actually been dead for six years. The reason Ted had been relaying the entire story to his kids was to see whether or not they'd accept Robin as his new lover. The alternative ending, Tracy doesn't die from a terminal illness and Ted doesn't end up with Robin. Two ways that would have meant that the show could have stayed legend, wait for it, dairy, as opposed to the D, wait for it, pressing. Number 9. Not Guilty, Seinfeld In one of the most popular sitcoms of all time, it is the most controversial ending of all time, where the main characters Jerry, George, Elaine and Kramer are put on trial and sentenced to jail time for all the bad things that they've done across the year. It's both bizarre and unexpected, however fitting given that the foursome were mostly terrible people for the majority of the show's eight seasons. The alternative ending was Jerry find the foursome innocent, leaving the victims enraged. This would certainly have been a lot funnier and fitting in a different way. Number 8. The more ambiguous Ross and Rachel, Friends After 10 years of living across the hall from one another, Monica and Chandler decide to move away, and Ross and Rachel, the definitive will they won't they, finally get back together. Though admittedly a bit of a downer, the alternative ending, according to show creator David Crane anyway, would have avoided the scene which Ross and Rachel got back together in such a definitive way. It seems a bit bleak for friends, but would probably have been a whole more realistic and probably worthy of more of a discussion. Number 7. Walter White Breaks Jesse Out of Jail – Breaking Bad In the end of Breaking Bad, Walter White returns to his territory and rescues his former partner Jesse Pinkman from the clutches of a gang who have taken him prisoner. Walter is fatally shot by his own rigged machine – you've got to respect the chemistry, Jesse, respect the chemistry – and then dies in a meth lab. In the alternative ending, whilst the ending was dramatic in its own way, it wasn't very shocking, nor did it follow through on the show's original premise, which was to turn Walter White into an unrelenting villain even though Walter White is damn cool. Giving Walt an aspect of redemption seemed to go against his arc and felt that the writers were too scared of Heisenberg to make him a full-on bad guy. Number 6. Cole and Hart Vanish Into the Unknown – True Detective After hunting down a serial killer, the injured Cole changes his cynical position and begins to have faith in the universe again. According to the creator, he had originally envisioned an ending of seriously crazy proportions, stating, I even had an idea where something more mysterious happened to them, where they just vanished into the unknown and nobody knows what happened to them. It could have gone full-blown supernatural. That would have been epic. Number 5. Andy Becomes Mayor – Parks and Recreation in the finale of Parks and Recreation, all the major characters' features are explored, seeing either Leslie or Ben having escalated to what appears to be presidential status, Jerry becomes mayor and Andy and April have a son and name him Jack, all round good egg of an ending. However, a different ending was considered to make Andy the mayor, which in some ways would have been the icing on this perfect little cupcake. Number 4. The Fires of Freedom – Nurse Jackie In the last scene of the show, Nurse Jackie collapses from a heroin overdose, leaving the audience not knowing whether or not she dies. As she lies there and the camera zooms slowly towards her face, Zoe strokes her hair and utters, You're good, Jackie. You're good. The alternative ending sounds a lot better than an unoriginal Sopranos Breaking Bad mix. We would have seen Jackie caught up in a hospital fire as she tries to rescue a heroin patient. Assuming she was dead, Jackie would appear squeezing out of a little window to escape. Apparently that's a metaphor for freedom of birth or something, but surely birth means you're no longer free because you're a parent now. Nah, I don't get it. Number 3. Joey chooses Dawson, Dawson's Creek Succumbing to a fatal heart condition, Jen unfortunately dies. Joey Potter actually chooses Pacey, whilst Dawson finds out that Steven Spielberg is interested in working with him while living in LA. A lot of people were pretty annoyed that they found out that Joey had gone with Pacey. The show seemed to be heading towards a Team Dawson the entire time. It makes you wonder whether or not Joey actually picked the right man, but in retrospect is such a wonderful thing, isn't it? Number 2. The Execution Table – Dexter In the ending, Dexter opts to fake his own death in order to start a new life by driving his fishing boat into the eye of a hurricane. Later, he's revealed to be alive, now sporting a beard and flannel shirt, and works for a lumberjack company. That's right, 
That's right, Dexter, don't bow down to the stereotype. The original ending was to have Dexter waking up, making the audience believe it was all a dream, but the camera panning back and back and back with the realization that it wasn't a dream at all. Turns out Dexter was opening his eyes on an execution table in Florida. Seconds before the drugs were about to be administered, Dexter looks over to the observation gallery and it's filled with people that Dexter had killed. Epic. Not only does that give Dexter a comeuppance, but also creates a moment where he can reflect on those murders. Number 1. Carrie chooses friendship over men, sex and the city Teasing their relationship across the entirety of the show, Mr Big finally whisks Carrie Bradshaw away to Paris for a proposal, and Charlotte is given the go-ahead to adopt a Chinese baby. The ending chosen was a pretty predictable one, splitting fans 50-50 on a love-hate response. On the alternatives would have seen Carrie marrying the Russian, whilst another saw her sack off men completely, lending Samantha to state, men, f*** them all of them. With the premise of the show being Carrie's attempt to find and connect with a man, an anti-men ending would have been a great note to finish on. What shows would you want to have alternative endings to? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.